Hey peeps, Sarah from Sparrow Springs here, and I have brought my colleague, best friend, author with me, Tori. And I've got some questions for her as far as what she's looking for in an artist when she <laughs> when she looks to hire some stuff out. <laughs> Are you happy with your glasses now? Yes, there's no glare anymore, and everybody's going to be like, oh my gosh, she has eyes. Okay. Do you do? All right, first question. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what do you usually hire an artist to make for you as a writer? Um, okay, so book covers are kind of an obvious one, but I would actually say that what I... My, the most exciting thing that I like to hire people for is concept art. Um, which Sarah hates. That's like her least That's favorite thing ever. Stuff, man. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would say for me as a very visual writer, concept art is huge. And I actually sometimes will hire concept art during the process of the book okay. because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's helpful for me to like see my world as it's coming together. Cool. Um, what do you look for in an artist? That's a really good question. Um, You've kind of set a standard. <laughs> um, I, well, if I'm just thinking about like when we work together on a, a creative project, I like to work with somebody who's very open and honest, who keeps me very updated. I'm a control freak, so I like to <laughs> I at least know what's going on and just, you know, like you'll send me little updates of like, you know, here's the... Yeah. Stage one work in progress. I, which... I, I can't control myself. I have to show you stuff because I'm like, <laughs> I love look it. at this. Which, as a, a writer, I take that as, like, I'm excited to see into the process. Mm -hmm. I don't see, like, the work in progress. Unless there's something really obviously wrong with it, I'm not like, okay, so love it so far, but can you, like, shift him over <laughs> here and, like, do a little bit more green and, like, you let them never, work. never, ever ask me to do more green. No, that's true. More <laughs> blue, maybe. Right. <laughs> All right, so when you look for stuff in an artist, does it change based on what you need? Yes and no. Um, I've been pretty spoiled because you are kind of a jack of all trades. So yeah. if I need a logo, I'm like, hey, Sarah. And if I need a book <laughs> cover, I'm like, hey, Sarah. And if I need concept art, I'm like, hey, Sarah. <laughs> so I think if I took you out of the picture, um, yes, it would definitely, I look very much at the style. And that's why I think having a portfolio is so helpful because... Yes looking at you can really see just like you can see kind of the soul of a writer through their book you mm -hmm. can also see the soul of an artist through their art and yes for me that's really important i want to i want to really connect with the style of art that they do um whether it's a, even a logo or a concept art it really doesn't matter what it is mm -hmm. um i always like to kind of get a sense of who the artist is and what they love based on their Work. I'm gonna throw this question in here. It wasn't actually my questions, but do you prefer to That's see? Cheating. Do you prefer to see um, works that they have done professionally for someone else, or do you prefer to see more of things that they are inspired by that they've made purely out of fun? Honestly, I would love to see. Like, I don't mind seeing things that they've done for other people from a professional side, but honestly, I get way more out of what they do on their spare time sure because that shows me like who the artist is when nobody's watching kind of thing yeah. like when they are just <laughs> let loose and they're able to play um what do they come up with and i think that's for me at least more mm -hmm. exciting to see oh like this is what really matters to them so what are you usually hoping to achieve through an artist are you looking for more inspiration final art for the book or concept art whatever yes all of the above Yes. <laughs> well, um, that was easy. I, I, I'm going to go back again to saying that, like, for me, even though the book covers are obviously on the final product, so that's kind of important, yeah. um, the concept art, for me personally, is probably the most fun. I like concept art. I, <laughs> I love that you love concept art. <laughs> Do you usually prefer art for a specific, specific genre, and why? Yes. Um, so it really depends on what I'm writing, sure. but overall my most commonly written genre is fantasy. And so that mm -hmm. takes a lot more kind of visual help yeah. than, um, <laughs> something like a contemporary fiction or, you know, something like that. I mean, it can, but it's easier to find pictures of what you need and make a little inspiration file as opposed to concept art 
for a fantasy world, which yeah. is you're designing something completely, well, mostly completely new. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's no such thing as like anything completely original. So. No. Just putting that. There in really there. is not. <laughs> yeah, so fantasy is my favorite, and especially I think it would really depend on who I'm working with because Sarah knows me so well. It works really well because I can blabber this like ridiculous. I have this random like jumble of things in my head, and Sarah's like, "Oh yeah, obviously." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very lucky in that way. Um, but I am also really excited to kind of explore like. Mm -hmm. different styles and I, I'm not married to like one specific art style. What specifically do you like to see from an artist before you hire them and like just because someone's an artist doesn't mean that you're gonna hire them. <laughs> um, well obviously like you would okay this is a weird one. <laughs> the portfolio is a must. I want to mm -hmm. see what you've done and what you enjoy like what mediums you use etc but I will say this is kind of a, a weird one. Artists can be pretty introverted. Yes. Um, and yes. sometimes that translates to being a bit rude without realizing that you're being a bit rude. So, yeah. I, like, I, I will say, like, one thing that really matters to me, be, even more important than the art, if you have amazing art and we email back and forth and you're really short and you don't really, it comes across like you don't really want to talk to me, is, like, I don't, you know, you might Customer have amazing... Customer service. Yes, like, just be courteous and be excited about what you do, because if you're not, then you probably should do something else. <laughs> yeah, which that actually brings me right to my next question. Is it important for you, uh, for the artist, to be interested and invested in your project? Yes. Um, I think having... Because I think that, you know, you're going to bring out your best work when you're excited about something. As a writer, yeah. I bring out my best work when I'm writing about a topic I'm really excited about. So mm -hmm. it, I would assume it's the same for an artist. And I think also that there is at least a degree of chemistry between me and the artist as people. Yeah. Um, because that means that we're going to work a lot more openly and, like, have more fun <laughs> doing it. I try to do the best work that I possibly can for a client, but not gonna lie, if the chemistry is bad, I want to get out of that project as fast as possible. Right, right. So you're gonna end up having more of a rushed experience that might not have the best result. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I definitely look at, you know, do we get along? Because that's, you know, kind of important. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and if they absolutely hated my concepts, then I would say that's probably not a good fit either. Right, yeah. No, I, I think... <laughs> That's really important, just that match between the two types of art yes. and finding that connection. Oh, do you require an artist to read your novel or book or whatever it is before doing any work, or do you prefer to let the artist interpret for themselves? I usually, <laughs> I usually try to provide at least something. Like if I'm having them do like a character portrait or something to that effect, I will usually give them like a chunk of the novel that kind of describes the character a little bit. Which is helpful. Yeah, so much. that they at <laughs> least have something to go on. Um, but I actually think that like being able to talk through it with the artist at the beginning is sometimes more helpful than um, reading the book. But I would say like it's mm -hmm. kind of I will give them something for sure, and it kind of depends on how much they want. If they want to read the whole book, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Some of us are not super proficient <laughs> readers. Okay, I'm, I'm proficient. I have no time. <laughs> right. And I actually think it's kind of cool because when you give them just a little piece and you kind of outline sort of what you're looking mm -hmm. for and then see what they come up with, it's actually kind of exciting to see what your writing inspires in somebody else without them knowing absolutely every detail. I'm going to throw this question in as well. Do you find that sometimes the art that the artist comes up with actually inspires your writing more so? Yeah, absolutely. And especially like when you've done uh, pieces for some of my epic fantasy writing, mm -hmm. um, yes, like there's been some characters that you've really developed more than I had even in my head and then I'm like ooh I want to like put them in more and <laughs> yeah um, so yeah absolutely what advice would you give new artists trying to connect with a writer well first of all connect with them um, because like <clears throat> you're not going to work with somebody if you never ask them it's true. Work with you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> introverts. Introverts. Yes. Get out of your bubble. <laughs> yes. Get out of your comfort zone. Um, you know, try to find some 
activities or events that might have some writers at it. There's tons yeah, of <laughs> my cat. Yeah, um, she clawed my leg. There's tons of events for writers and artists everywhere. So like networking is honestly huge. Have a portfolio together, even if it's like five pieces. Just something, yeah. something that you can show them, um, and then just reach out and say, "Hey, I'm." You know, you may not get a response, but you might. You never know. Would you prefer that an artist stick to what you gave them, or would you rather they try to interpret the idea themselves and maybe stretch the idea a little bit? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is kind of, yes. Um, both. <laughs> like, kind of like, if you take my idea and I tell you, okay, I want a dragon, and I you come back with, like, a seahorse, yeah, obviously, no. like you know, you gotta like kind of try to fit it, but at the same time, no, you don't time, understand. I think I know your book better than you do. I, that with you, that's actually totally possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, take the artist or the author into consideration, definitely, because mm -hmm. they're hiring you to do something for them. But at the same time. You know, don't be afraid to ask either. If you get to a certain yeah. part and you're like, hey, you know, I really think this would be kind of cool, send them a note. Keep them involved and be like, hey, I think this would be really cool. Can I try this and see what you think of it? Yeah, um, I've done that with you a few <clears throat> times. Yeah, and it usually works out pretty well. Yeah. Every, I think we've had a couple of that I'm like, mm, no. But yeah. overall, usually, you know, and that again goes back to making sure you have good chemistry on both sides. Yes. Because as an artist, if you're like, man, this author is horrible to work with, <laughs> you know, like you're not going to do your best work either. So yeah. Yeah. have a happy relationship. Happy. Happy. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I think that about wraps it up. Make sure you check out her channel at VTech and Novels. And check out the awesome stuff she's got on writing over there because it's fun and funny and awesome. I try. <laughs> I try. try. Stop. Just stop. So I will <laughs> leave that link in the description <clears throat> and uh, we'll see you later, peeps. Bye. It's fun. I was going to propose it in over there. Okay. Yeah. Well, we didn't do your intro for the other one. That's okay. I can do one off the cuff at home, too. Okay. <laughs>